everyone welcome to the second part of the things that shocked me in Saudi Arabia so one of the other things that shocked me in Saudi Arabia is that in Saudi Arabia there are no churches so when I was still in Uganda I never knew that in Saudi Arabia there are no churches so I was already excited knowing that you know more is going to be given a weekend on Sundays so that I could go and pray have time with God you know meet new people you make new friends I thought there were churches in Saudi Arabia but there are no churches in Saudi Arabia only mosques while in Abu Dhabi there is a mosque called Holy Mary Mother of Jesus so that was really a shock for me that is in Abu Dhabi in the Emirates but in Saudi Arabia there are no churches another thing that shocked me in Saudi Arabia is that you can't search for pornography and get it you can't search for blue movies and get them so I know some of you will be like ah what were you looking for well my friend first told me she was like you know in Saudi Arabia you can't search for pornography and you get it I was like no it's like you can use YouTube you use uh, Google or something or search for websites maybe so she was like no try and see so I tried on Google I put www.xvideos.com the phone brought me back to home screen I tried the second time to home screen it couldn't search then I searched something else I searched something else and they brought it for me and I tried another and they brought it for me then I went back to type www.xvideos.com the phone still brought me back to home screen so I was like oh my god this is true but in Uganda the moment you put in blue not finishing the word movies everything is down so that really made me fall in love with saudi arabia i saw that kids don't really get spoiled that much or don't know much about men and women when it comes to sex they just know this kissing and hugging they don't see the inner inner things very very much because such videos are prohibited in Saudi Arabia so I went on YouTube I also searched the same thing the only thing the only video that I found there was just kissing that was all and it was for Indians number three another thing that shocked me in Saudi Arabia is that boys and girls do not mix when they're praying just like the way we pray in Uganda you find a, a girl is sitting near a boy and a boy is sitting near with a girl in Saudi Arabia they don't mix girls are separated from boys because these people think maybe it's not good it's not a good idea for girls to mix with boys maybe they will learn some bad things that they shouldn't be learning while in Uganda for us we mix but that's where we even find friendships and relationships that's why you find that oh he got the wife from the church he got a wife from from the bar wherever they met because for us we always mix another thing that shocked me in Saudi Arabia is buying recharge card also known as airtime if you're Ugandan we use the word airtime so in Saudi Arabia when you're buying airtime you pay tax let's just assume you're buying like airtime for 20 years for 20 real using STC maybe Zane maybe Virgin you have to add on a tax so the first time I gave my boss money I gave her and I was like you know I want airtime and she was like okay so I gave her my 20 real so when she brought the airtime I put the codes in my phone so I was like madam I gave you my 20 why is it that my phone is saying that there is 15 so she was like, yeah, yeah, you gave me 20 and they gave you 15. And I'm like, yes, so 20 minus 15. Guys, I'm not good in math, but when it comes on my money, eh, I always have to count. So I was like, madam, I have given you my 20. You've brought for me a time for 15. Are you, like, are you serious? So she was like, yo, you don't do nothing in Saudi Arabia when you buy for 15, you add on some money. I was like, money for what? I like yeah you have to pay for a tax if you buy for 20 you add three reals and i'm like so i pay three reals and i still remain with 20. 
it was like yes you buy for 50 you add sometimes it depends sometimes it's five real sometimes it's seven or even sometimes it's uh, ten depending on what you're buying so in Saudi Arabia when you're buying something there is always a tax that you have to pay so guys let me know in the comment section about things that really really shocked you that things you never knew really existed you only saw them in Saudi Arabia or Dubai wherever you are whether you're in the whether you're in the Netherlands or Germany just let me know in the comment section so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video thank you so much I love you so much thank you for your support may God bless you